back at San Pedro Market, but I'm leaving right now. I actually had a really productive time here. Like the last time that I was here, since I felt sick, it was really hard for me to just even walk around. Hard for me to take a look at everything. And I was really irritable too, so I just wanted to get out. It's just like so busy. It was um, feeling like too much. So now that I feel better, I went through and I knocked out almost all of the souvenirs I had to get. I got mine, which I was actually thinking this is gonna be the first trip that I didn't see anything that like jumped out at me that I really needed to have until I walked into the San Pedro market and I saw something, I'll try to show it to you. I saw this really cute tapestry. I love getting things for my house. I love getting one thing that I can use to decorate and then one thing that I can wear. You know, my stomach has just been off and on and right now it's okay, but I'm really afraid to eat. So I'm going back to Greens Organic because I have that 15% coupon. I'm gonna use it to get a breakfast smoothie or something. I don't know what it was, but um, Alfredo who was really nice and helping me out there, really highly recommended the breakfast. I already checked out of my um, hostel. I left my bag there and um, they're gonna call me a taxi for 10 solas to the airport at 12.30. So I'm gonna just go grab some breakfast, relax, see if there's anything else that I need to do and then head back to the uh, hostel so I can get the taxi. And then I will be in Lima tonight. So it's just gonna be a chill day. I'm taking it slow because I've been doing a lot lately and yeah, I don't, I already did it all, it feels. Good morning. I'm back here in my spot in Greens Organic. I usually try to avoid doing repeats at a restaurant when I'm traveling. Actually, I got a combo and I didn't, I didn't read this beforehand, but it says, no aplica para combos. So I actually cannot use my 15% off, but it's okay because it's only 30 um, sol, 30 soles for all of this food. I don't even have all of it yet and it is so much. I got the greens breakfast. It's a smoothie bowl, avocado toast, fruit juice, and your choice of either tea or coffee. I'm trying the smoothie bowl first. Mmm. Okay, that's really good. A nourishing mango, pineapple, and banana smoothie with coconut milk, fruits, and seeds. <laughs> exactly what my body needed. Okay, so trying this. Mmm. That's amazing. Y'all, I'm not making this up. This is good. Pineapple juice. Oh, that's like just straight fresh pineapple juice. I'm in heaven. I'm gonna take a big bite. Wow, this is so fresh, so delicious. The flavors of everything are really thought out and paired together nicely. It's like every single thing is delicious. I really love this restaurant, Greens Organic in Cusco. I'm like looking at the Plaza de Armas right now, so it's right at the corner of it. This is awesome. I am going to fish up and I'll get back to y'all when I'm done. Mmm. See ya. All right, as I'm finishing up everything here at um, Greens Organic, because of the um, issue with the coupon, they gave me um, a complimentary tea, anise tea, and it's so delicious. And then I'm sitting here and I'm hearing all this live music and I can see there's a parade coming, so I can't wait. When it comes, um, I'm gonna show you it. The waiter was telling me that there's always something going on in Plaza de Armas and in the one week that I've been here, for sure I can say that. I've seen like 
four events. This is actually the fifth little thing that I've seen. So it seems like um, in Cusco, the Plaza de Armas is the place where people, it's, it's definitely the main square where things are happening. And I definitely suggest if you have the time, just go out and sit there because so much is happening. You're gonna see so much in, in just a little bit of time. That was awesome. Made it to the airport. I got a taxi from my hostel and it was only 10 soles, which was pretty good because going it was like 25. Um, and as soon as I walked in, there's this ginormous line. And I asked these people and they say it's the line for everything. So I'm really glad I got here early. Um, the line seems to be moving, but if I was the type of person to get to a flight like within an hour or something, I don't know if I would have made it. So I guess just in case, give yourself extra time. It's just before one and my flight is at 2.40. So better be safe than sorry. I waited in that line for like 20 minutes and then I realized somebody had asked what the line was for again. And in Spanish, I could understand that she said, if you need a paper or if you need to change your flight. So I was like, wait a minute, do I have to be in this line? And then I figured that it was the line to check stuff in and that they actually have little kiosks where you can check in on your own if you don't have anything to check in. Even though I, I like waited in that line for 20 minutes and then I realized that there's a check-in and checked in and got in really quickly. So <laughs> I wasted some time, but it's fine. Um, right now I'm, I tried to do the, the lounge, but it was full. That's okay because my flight board's in like 30 minutes. So I'll just hang out here. I've noticed this in a few different airports around the world where they don't have the gate sign up until really close to the actual boarding time, which is, for me, gives me like anxiety. But I guess it's like a organizational thing. Um, so I'm just sitting here in front of the sign waiting for it to tell me what gate to go to. Um, and then I'll get, I'm gonna get on my flight. You know, and also I was just thinking, that one week was perfect. I don't think I could have done another week but on my own. I was thinking about it in the taxi ride. My one week in Peru has been amazing. I mostly did like a week in Cusco. I have, didn't see Lima yet and I'm not really gonna see it. So I kind of just did one week in, in like the Sacred Valley in Cusco. And for me, first time female solo traveler, for sure, this was enough. <laughs> I think that there's a lot that goes into um, being safe and aware and thoughtful and also the enjoying the experience. Then there's the other side of it, me trying to capture as much as possible for, for my blog. So it's like multi-layered, but at the end of it, I'm exhausted. I, I think my brain has been working like overtime, like twice the amount that it, that it works when I typically travel, which makes sense. So I think in terms of solo travel, I may not, I may have to work up to doing longer trips because it's a lot of work and it's tiring. Um, and then also, I think because it was a week though, I went really hard, really fast, and that burned me out towards the end, which I kind of always do. But the way that I see it, I'm only gonna, you know, I could only have one week here and I'm only gonna be able to come to Peru so many times. Maybe oh, this is the only time. So let me just relax and sleep when I'm home, you know? I guess that's just the reflections I've been having. Uh, I definitely would come to Peru again, but I wouldn't come alone just because I feel like I, I did that experience. Yeah, there's a lot that I missed this trip, so there's, there's more to see for sure. But overall, it's been an amazing trip and an amazing journey. But overall, Peru's amazing, Cusco's been great, Sacred Valley is incredible, and long live the Incas. to Lima and I'm a super forgetful person so I didn't even remember what kind of Airbnb I booked but I did get an Airbnb for Lima because it seemed like the cheapest option actually compared to all of the hostels and I'm so glad I did it uh, let me show you what I got so this is the living room over here we have the kitchen how cute she has 
soda and water in here for me. This is so sweet. I have laundry stuff, but I'm leaving tomorrow, so it doesn't make sense. Look at this bathroom. Uh, uh. Ooh, baby, that looks powerful. And then my private bedroom with a TV that actually works this time because the last one it was only playing one Spanish news channel. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> I really needed something like this to end. I actually like to end my trips um, like this with some sort of more of a luxury option towards the end. I feel like it's a great way to end the trip. It's also really relaxing and it feels kind of like you did it. So I'm gonna figure out the food situation. I kind of want to see if I can get food delivered here because I don't really want to go out. But I'm hungry, so I'm gonna figure that out. I'll let y'all know how that goes. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna relax the whole rest of the night. I'm so excited. My flight leaves uh, at, what time? Six tomorrow. So she told me I should leave here by two, and actually, I agree. The traffic, it took an hour to get there, so get to the airport like three something, we board at like five, that makes sense. I like to get to the airport early, especially for an international flight. So I'm gonna leave here at two. Ideally, I'd be able to um, go to the beach and enjoy Miraflores, because that's where this Airbnb is, Miraflores, which is a cute neighborhood. It feels really safe walking around. Like I saw surfers, I saw families, I saw people with dogs, I saw like a police officer going by, so it feels like just like a normal kind of community, sort of. I feel tired, y'all. <laughs> it's been a week. It's been an awesome week, but it has been a week. And I'm really just gonna enjoy this last night and hopefully I can just marinate and sit with all of the awesomeness that was this first trip, this first solo trip because I'm so grateful for how incredible and how awesome and fun and, and easy it's been. So, knock on wood that everything still goes fine, but. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna chill out for the rest of the time now so I'll see y'all later okay so I got a I wanted to get food delivery because I didn't want to leave the Airbnb it's so nice and comfy here and I just really need to relax so I actually realized that uber is available in Lima that means uber eats is available in Lima so I've actually never even ordered uber eats but I got myself something from Chifa Express. This is the last, um, I guess, like Peruvian food, I guess you can say. This is the last bit of Peruvian food that I have yet to try here. So I really wanted to, um, to uh, do at least one meal, a uh, one Chifa meal. Let me look it up actually, what is Chifa? Chifa is culinary tradition based on Chinese Cantonese elements fused with traditional Peruvian ingredients and traditions. Though originating in Peru, the Chifa tradition has spread to neighboring countries like Ecuador, Chile, and Bolivia. Chinese immigrants came to Peru mainly from the southern province of Guangdong, and particularly its capital city of Guangzhou. I'm probably saying all of that wrong. The term Chifa is also used to describe a restaurant where this type of food is served. Chinese Peruvian food has become one of the most popular types of foods in Peru. Because I'm pescatarian, I don't know how Peruvian this is, like maybe more of the like meat-based dishes, the carne or pollo or um, chancho, I think is pig. But I think those might be a little bit more Peruvian, uh, but let's see what I got. How cute is this? Ooh, okay, basically I just got fried rice and spring rolls. I'm not sure how different it'll taste. The spring rolls came in this little box and they came with this sauce as well. But it says, it's jugo de limon. And then I got this hefty container of fried rice. Look at that in there. So this is basically like shrimp fried rice. Yeah, and shrimp fried rice. I've never had 
spring rolls with lemon juice. That's different. It's way more doughy. It's like a lot of dough right here. And then it's stuffed and the top is thin and crus crispy. It's interesting. The lime juice with it is pretty good though. All right, well, that's my thoughts on Chifa. At least Chifa Express, which maybe isn't the best version of it. It's like a takeout version. But it's good enough for me, it's good enough for right now. So I'm gonna enjoy this dinner and enjoy the rest of my night. Good night. <laughs>